Hi guys, I'm Silver, and welcome back to What Remains. There's a pattern Sweetest in all Finch. these stories. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Hmm. I mean, yeah, no kidding. Everybody dies pretty young. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. What? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Your Even a monster changed. on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. A monster on the other side of the door. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. So Walter was the kid that hid under the bed while Barbara was killed, I think. Now something I know about it's out there monster. somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Mm. And Molly. And Calvin. Calvin died by jumping off of a swing, right? Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. This game is awesome. I love the like Whatever's out there. I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh. That's so sad. Walter so died sad. when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Huh. Does that mean they told her that he died before he did and he was down here? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. No, because 2005, so... Mm. A fake window. That's so sad. And weird.
Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Wow. This is crazy. So damn weird. <laughs> Trying to bury something that's still alive. Oh. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. Is there anybody left? Yes. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. There are... I don't know if I should even be writing this. Chairs in the trees. There's a statue up on the hill. There's some sort of island over there. For a second it seemed like the game was ending. Maybe but... it'd be better if all this just died with me. Apparently not. But I thought you should know about your family. Wait. Who? And the history you're a part of. Is she pregnant? Because, okay, the comment about now that there's only one of us left, maybe two, made me think that. But I was like, mm, no, maybe I'm missing something. Um. But this definitely makes me think that she is pregnant or has a kid already. Because. Oh, yep, she's pregnant! How did I not notice that before? She's totally pregnant. This isn't a grand reveal, because, like, I could have looked down and seen it the whole time. I just wasn't paying attention. Interesting. Alright, up here, I guess. Whoa! This game honest, is so I cool. I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Hmm. I feel like these are all metaphors. <laughs> Because, okay, let's just, let's think about this for a second. So, the very first weird one was about eating. So, it's possible that um, Molly died of an eating disorder. And all of that stuff was just a grand metaphor for it. Um, let's see, what else? The Barbara one was, like, possibly a metaphor for her... Hmm. Obsession with regaining her fame. But I don't know how that would kill her unless, like, a lot, a, a lot of child stars go down the route of, like, drugs and stuff like that. So it's possible that's, like, the monsters. I just did air quotes, but you guys can't see me. Anyway, the monsters were metaphors for drugs, and that's what killed her. Uh, let's see. Walter. Um... Yeah, I mean, I can't do every single one, but I feel like, I feel like these are metaphors, and I could be completely wrong, it might just be a weird story thing, or, like, supposed to be, like, actually happen, and there's just super element, super, laugh, there's this supernatural element to it, 
but I feel like, I mean, I like the metaphors thing better, honestly. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. But I mean, it's very, it's a very weird universe, regardless of the metaphors, because look at this house and the secrecy and the like, I don't know, it's just very, very weird. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just trying to rationalize all of this. For so long, we've just gotten used to it. Hmm. Am I not supposed to go over here at all? I guess not. Still can't run. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? <laughs> that is a good point. Oh. Wait. No, yeah, no, this is. It's embarrassing for me go. to admit this, but. The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the Aww. gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, That's so sad. <laughs> Derpy and Der Derpy Jr. <laughs> and Burpy and Chirpy. And Furpy and Lurpy and Zerpy. I'm guessing these are the gerbils. <laughs> wow. Huh. Oh, I can't see that sign. Oh, there's actual- oh, there's- okay, so Oliver was a rabbit, Bob was a dog, Shadow was a cat, Christopher was a fish. Oh, Christopher the fish from- from the Molly section, Oh. Lucy was a dog. Charlie was a cat. Do these have symbols on them? No, I'm just assuming they're the gerbils. Anyway. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Oh, okay. Here's the, uh... <sighs> Human. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, is that the old house? Huh. Wow. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Yep. I can't go further. Can't look in that again. Okay. Well, guys, I'm just about out of time, and this part is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, so I'm going to have to stop here. Um, but yeah, I love this game so much. It's so cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.